Once upon a time, somewhere in the multiverse, the prism was discovered by an individual. Just as a prism splits light into an infinite spectrum of colors, the prism is a portal to an infinite multitude of universes. In order to travel through the prism, the individual entered as an anonymous avatar called the Hex. Known as FF, 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 they set out to explore the cosmos. Knowledge of the prism has finally spread to our universe. Are you ready to embark on a new adventure? Introducing Prism. Prism is a virtual and physical experience that brings together art, retail, and world building to remind us that our universe is full of infinite creativity, possibilities, and potential. There are three components. The first being discover your hex. During the pre-experience, individuals design their virtual avatar and acquire a physical wristband. On the Prism website, they follow a narrative-based questionnaire which uses algorithms to generate the unique hex. Hex are identified with a hex code, which designates a diverse combination of characteristics that allow for anonymous multiverse travel. Each hex code digit represents a different characteristic. Here are two examples in their corresponding hex codes. Then, individuals purchase their hexlet, a customizable silicon wristband that contains their profile info. The hexlet can be used throughout the location-based experience to unlock interactions, share content, expedite lines, and purchase goods. Finally, it's time for the adventure to begin. The Into the Prism phase involves visiting, exploring, interacting, and shopping within the Prism. The Prism is a sustainable atrium structure with multiple levels featuring large spaces, an auditorium, a gondola, and work slash utility floors. So far, there are four discovery universes in the Prism. The Spaceverse, Mindverse, Natureverse, and Metaverse, all with unique aesthetics and values. The main theme spaces of the Prism represent these four discovered universes. Each is an open floor exploratory space featuring design environments, art installations, and retail experiences. By scanning their hexa around each universe, individuals can unlock story narratives, collect hex add-ons, and activate transformations such as this planet design and projection. Each universe is dappled with evolving, exclusive product lines created by designers from around the world. Clothing, art, and home decor can be purchased with the hexa and picked up at the end of the experience. The post-experience, Share the Love, involves exhibiting physical merchandise and exploring a virtual store. By wearing a graphic tee or displaying a sculpture, individuals can extrapolate the experience and share ideas of existence, creativity, and awareness with the world. The final step is logging into the PRISM website, which features a gamified open-world platform. Individuals can shop products, find exclusive offers, and continue exploring the multiverse using their hex as a virtual avatar. Ultimately, all three PRISM experiences work together to empower, entertain, and educate in the physical and virtual worlds. As a newly imagined concept enveloped in story, interactivity, merchandise, and themed environments, a wide range of audiences can create their own adventures through the PRISM. Thank you. Were you, um, were you inspired by Meow Wolf at all? There's a sort of a Meow Wolf sensibility to some of what you're presenting, which is nice. Well, I might add a comment while she's... <clears throat> trying to you know get the audio working yeah she says she's gonna lock um, that yeah i thought it was you know um a very you know very nice presentation real interesting idea it's an intersection of a number of like very big things you know art retail and the whole concept of world building um the the idea of the avatar as a hex code is really you know really clever and you know it's got some scalability to it and i like the um uh, the idea of linking it through to physical products as well. So I had a really interesting blend of many things um, uh, for me, yeah. Yeah, for me- You actually it, have a question. It, yeah, no, for, for me, it was like Amazon do, Amazon shopping does the metaverse. And, and it, you know, it reminded me a lot of how, you know, Amazon's been doing the, the physical experiences to augment the shopping online, but then taking it a step further and, and taking it into the new media you know sort of seen and, and opening it up to all the all the possibilities that we have with this I sort of I sort of put a note in there it's like it's like a it's <laughs> like um XR shopping mall you know yeah it's very very cool a lot of dimensions of scalability no pun yeah. intended I thought that was really cool Yeah, my question in the chat was more around inclusion around price mm -hmm. point for distribution of the physical bracelets to see what research has been done around um, the marketing of it or the, uh, basically the inclusion of people that might not be able to afford the bracelet to be able to participate in the physical experience component. So just a question around that. 
she's typing. Okay, for sure. I know that a lot of museums offer free admission to qualifying members. So based upon the fact that it's a very inclusive and creative experience, we would definitely offer discounted or free admission for people. Yeah, I Thank mean, you. I suppose that the business of it would have to be based more on the price point of the things that you add on and buy during the experience as opposed to the price point of entry. I, I see you nodding your head. I assume that's kind of where you were thinking. 